Hello, Piscean. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is episode 14 and 15. If you're looking for 12 and 13, it's not posted. I did not post that one. This is for Piscean, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Let's see what the messages are for you, Pisces. Let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Let's see here. Piscean. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. That's a theme today, seems like. The uh, Moon card. And we have the Hierophant. We have the Tower. So it kind of it kind of looks like Piscean. You are being you are being forced to be with someone or something is being worked on behind the scenes for you. I'm getting something is happening out of the blue. It's completely shocking, but it's going to lead to a, I'm getting it's the right thing to do. It's more it's morally and eth ethically correct a relationship that has that's meant to be. It's a match made in heaven. Now the Ace of Pentacles to me is your north node, the dragon's head. So you could have a north node in Taurus or you're dealing with somebody with a north node in Taurus. Okay, you're supposed to be with them. But I'm getting, you don't, you're not really sure what, what to do with this person or to do about them or how to feel about this person. This is your card. You're kind of in your feelings about them. Now, Taurus, let's see. So I'm, I'm, or somebody could have a moon in Taurus here. And I'm getting this person. If this person has a moon in Taurus or a north node in Taurus, this is your match. So make sure, make sure you know their astrology. Because I'm getting this is about, this is the person that has, whoever this person is with a, with a north node in Taurus or a moon in Taurus, this is the person you're, you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life. This is your this is your life partner. I'm getting, you don't really know who that is. Now, you could be dealing with both. You could be dealing with somebody with a north node in Taurus and somebody with a moon in Taurus. And that's where the confusion comes in with the moon card. All right. You're like, you're maybe you could even be mind blown. Like, wow. All right. So it looks like somebody, somebody, you're newly single here. All right, but something is going on. Let's see what this is. This is very intriguing to me. All right, let's see. What is the Ace of Pentacles for Piscean? Could be an Earth. So I'm getting Earth, all Earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, or El Capitan. Okay, what's the Ace of Pentacles for Piscean? Yeah, we have the ooh, we have the Ten of Swords. So now this could be you started something new with someone, a new position, new opportunity, and it kind of stopped. But I'm also getting two. Now, the, the, the Ten of Swords to me in this deck, it's kind of, it's closed in communication. It's secret. It's private. Okay. But I'm getting two. Somebody here could be stuck or lost for words. So this could be a new situation or a new job that involves speaking. But I'm getting you're kind of hiding. So you could be, you, this could be like a, this could be like voiceover work. Okay. You're talking behind the camera here. It's like you're doing something brand new. What's the Ten of Swords? I want to be, before we go on. Okay. No, what's the Moon card? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, and then we have the, the Knight of Cups. Okay, this is getting juicy. Now we have the Tower. So I'm getting there's going to be a breakup. You're going to stop talking to someone because you're finding out that they have somebody new in their life. They've been flirting with somebody else, or they had a relationship all along. This person was actually married. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting your mind is being blown. You are not expecting this at all. I'm getting, I'm getting it's a new person. It could be, but this is all your energy here. I'm getting to somebody is giving you an invitation or somebody is proposing to you, Piscean, and you're completely shocked. You're like, you're like, what? I'm getting to somebody that you weren't even talking to, somebody that you have not been talking to for a long time. Out of the blue, somebody just says something. Somebody, somebody wants to be with you out of the blue. Somebody, somebody's like, can we be together? You're like, excuse me? Or out of the blue, someone's like, look, I want to be single. I want to break up. You're, I'm getting you're completely shocked about this. But I'm getting somebody has a secret lover here with the Ace of Cups under the moon. What is the Ten of Swords? I want to see what this Ten of Swords is. That's so random. All right, what's the Ten of Swords? Because I'm getting to somebody might try to communicate with you at first and they you ignore them. Or maybe you guys were communicating for, for and it just kind of stopped. It came to a halt. But I'm getting it's been like 10 months or 10 weeks you guys have not been talking. And all of a sudden here this person is. I'm, I'm, I am getting to this person is going to communicate with you at night after dark. Okay. What is the Ten of Swords? What is the Ten of Swords, please?
you have the two of swords. It's almost like you are the one that's blocking this out, Pisces. You're unsure. You don't want to talk about it right now. You don't want to talk about commitment right now. Can we just talk about something different? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. So I'm getting like somebody wants to be in a relationship right now. Somebody could even be proposing to you. You're like, what? And I'm getting you're completely caught off guard. Yeah, I'm getting like in the middle of the night or like after nightfall, somebody's like, look, I really want to be with you, Pisces. And I want, to, I want you to spend the rest of your life with me. Okay, can let can we get married? You're like, I don't know. I don't I don't know. Okay, what is the what's the ace of cups? What is the ace of cups? But I'm getting somebody is pouring their heart out to you. Someone is like, yeah, you are the one for me. You're the only one that I love. You're the only one that I see myself with. Yeah, somebody is like like opening up, pouring their heart out to you. I'm getting it's a water sign. Okay, what's the ace of cups? But it, this this takes you by a complete surprise. You don't know what to do. You're not really sure why this person's even saying these things. So you're like, I don't know. It's like you're at a complete standstill. All right, what's the um what's the ace of cups? What is the ace of cups? Or I'm, I'm getting to all of a sudden somebody does not know what they want. Somebody somebody doesn't want to be in a relationship all of a sudden. Okay. But I'm getting to somebody is very indecisive about wanting to be with you. Are we going to be together or not? What is this? All right. So it's almost like you wanna you wanna end something because somebody can't make up their mind. Okay, what's the ace of cups? What is the ace of cups? Ace of Cups energy. Okay, the strength card. Yeah, it's almost like it's like somebody is resisting you. All right, but I'm getting it. Somebody's hiding this. I'm getting somebody really does love you. They have a lot of deep emotional love for you. I'm getting this person. Somebody could be afraid of commitment, but they actually do want to commit. I'm getting somebody's just confused. All right, what's the maybe somebody could be confused about how you feel about them too. But it's almost like somebody's allowing their pride to get in the way. Like, I'm getting somebody who's madly in love with you. This person is meant to be with you with the Ace of Pentacles. But they allow their pride to get in the way. They allow, they're allow, they allow their pride, their ego to keep them from telling you how much they love you, what they feel about you, or what they want. All right? Now, this could lead to a breakup, too, because somebody refuses to express their emotions. Somebody refuses to be vulnerable. Somebody refuses to, you know, be romantic or they refuse to understand you or they refuse to talk to you. So you're ending it. All right. What is the, what is the nine of cups? What's the nine of cups? I'm getting somebody just has too much uh, pride for you, Piscean. Somebody's too indecisive. All right. Somebody's like maybe even too emotional or somebody just keeps too many secrets. What's the nine of cups? Yeah, the will of fortune. Something there, there's a there's a there's a drastic shift here. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting you're finding out that somebody has somebody new or somebody's getting married and that's completely shocking to you. Now this now I'm getting two. Somebody wanted a new beginning with you, Piscean, but they just couldn't make up their mind. So you it's it's like somebody has somebody was resisting and resisting and resisting, and that person moved on. So I'm I'm getting you could have wanted a new beginning with somebody else. But because you couldn't make up your mind, that person moved on and now they're in a relationship. Something just kind of shifted. But it's like somebody had you waiting. Somebody just could not decide what they wanted to do. And like, I'm getting now you've moved on. Yeah, you're in love with somebody else. You've moved on. You're dating somebody. Yeah, somebody who treats you very well. Someone who's very protective of you. All right, somebody who holds you. This could be somebody who's a celebrity or somebody who's highly influential in the public eye. This person makes you very happy. So I'm getting this could be, yeah, it could be another water sign like yourself, Cancer, Piscean, or Scorpio. I'm getting you're very happy with this person, all right? But I'm getting there is somebody else, maybe a, a, an air sign that was expecting to have this new beginning with you, or you were expecting this person to be the one, but it turned out to be somebody completely different, and I'm getting you're actually very happy with them. You're very much in love. This is your soulmate. You feel you have a huge connection with them. They're sensitive. They're romantic, all right? I'm also getting to you're dealing with somebody with split personalities. Like one minute, they're like this. They're very prideful. They're indecisive. They're ignoring you. They're giving you the silent treatment. And the next minute, they're the sweetest person in the world. All right. And I'm getting you do honestly love them too. Maybe they're just, they're complicated. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.